All right, well, here's some more progress of my little uh, Mueller testing uh, device. And uh, I got more coils added to it now, and I've, I've been working on a different drive circuit. And uh, Ramiro told us that you don't really need to drive it with these coils. You could actually drive it independently and do your load testing on the dynamo part of it. Uh, and that was what was more critical, was finding out what the output of this dynamo would be and making that better and better and better. And um, anyway, I kind of went to that approach, was to try to see if I could make a, a better dynamo and then drive it any way I wanted to drive it and get away from this circuit and, and as a focus. So I decided, well, you know what, there's probably other circuits that will work on this little thing here. And uh, there are. And uh, I found out it'll work with the Jewel Thief circuit. So I'm calling this the uh, Low Power Jewel Thief Mueller Dynamo. And all it is, it's two Jewel Thiefs paralleled on the two drive coils of the Romero design. And um, uh, I've got a super cap is the front end uh, source. And then the um, Low Power is unbelievable. It's half a volt to one volt at about five milliamps. And there it is running. Now what I've got here is I've got the a power source of a lamp on a solar panel and then this uh, voltmeter here. And you're going to see this go up uh, as I talk about this little motor here. And uh, then I'll show you what it disconnected. But I have the power generator coils hooked up on four bridge rectifiers now and then going right back into the front end. Now I'm not where I need to be and I really have serious doubts that I personally will ever get there but it is generating power while it's running at those numbers and I thought that was uh, rather interesting and uh, right now at this speed here at that voltage um, it's putting out about half a volt is all, and I haven't checked the amperage, but uh, there's the differential. You know, I'm not where I need to be to, to make this self-sustain. So anyway, but I, I did have this success using these two Jewel Thief circuits, and uh, having a couple of Jewel Thieves work together, and it's two pairs of coils. It's the pair of coils here, and the pair of coils down there. And they're not directly in line, they're offset. So um, I thought that was interesting that you could balance them up using the potentiometers and get them to work together on this circuit right here. And uh, I'm calling this the Jewel Thief Mueller Dynamo. And uh, I have a lid motor and today is the 24th of May, 2011. And what I haven't gotten into yet are the cores. And this is running on air cores, and I need to get the ferrite thing going here. And uh, you'll get much more power using the ferrites. But uh, you're going to get the, 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 the banging, banging, the noise. And you can see right now it's not making any noise. It's completely silent. And where I live, that's important. Now, this is what it sounds like. Here's my radio. That's the sound of it right there. Now, when I get these crazy ferrite cores going, it's going to sound louder than that. And where I live, my wife uh, doesn't want any noise in the house. So on a kitchen table kind of a setup here, um, I may have a little problem. may have to do it when she's not here. So anyway, but anyway, I'm having a lot of fun. And you can see this uh, voltage has climbed while I've talked. Now what I'm going to do, the last thing here is, is disconnect everything. And um, I'm going to do the Romero thing here with it. Which was, he he did this. He took his little device and he walked around with it. And that's what I'm going to do here. Just to show you that uh, there's no wires. No nothing under here. This is a free running device that's running on very low power on that energy that's stored in that supercapacitor off a very, very simple Jewel Thief circuit that is not only driving a rotor, but it's generating power at the same time. 
So anyway, I thought that was uh, kind of cool. You know, if somebody didn't want to build the, the real deal and just wanted to experiment with their what they had at the house and some Radio Shack parts and Walmart parts or whatever, you could build one of these things and get it running. Now, it's not going to go, you know, like Ramiro's did, but uh, I don't know. It was fun. I've enjoyed building this, and I'm going to try different circuits on this to try to drive this different ways. But this gets away from the hall sensor. You don't have to use the hall sensor. You just, you just tune this to the right frequency, and it's basically running on a frequency, which has been talked about before, was you could possibly hit this with a frequency and get it to rotate, and that's what's happening right there. Now there's feedback to these coils that help the circuit trigger. And of course the uh, output part of this isn't bothering the front end at all. It's just running merrily along. And normally when I have tried to do this before, when I try to move the back end generation into the front, it kills the motor or it drains down the capacitor right away. But uh, it's not doing that. Let me plug this back in. And I'll show you what happened to the voltage on the cap while I did my little demonstration here. And that's where the voltage on the cap went down to. That's how much energy I used out of that capacitor while I was walking around. And that's uh, 0.56 volts, 568 millivolts. You see it's on that scale right there. And uh, you can see this is climbing back up again from the light energy going into that solar panel. So this is this is pretty darn efficient. Um, I'm pretty happy with that setup right there. That's uh, kind of a winner in my book. So anyway, that's the latest with the lid motor experiment with the Mueller Dynamo. Thanks for watching.